Okay, this is 5,000 watts. Poor sign, power inventor. Weighs a peak rating, 20,000 watts. It's convert from 12 volt DC, four lugs on 12 volt DC, and it makes 220 or 2, 220 or 240 volts IC. I need this inventor to power my welding equipment, what's about aluminum. My maximum rating on a welding current is from 20 to 30 amps on a voltage 20 volt out coil on a welding arc. So totally I need from 600 watt maybe up to 1 kilowatt power. Since that inventor came out overseas somewhere across the Pacific or Atlantic from China or from somewhere else, I have to take it apart and I would like to see what is inside. A close view of my new inventor with opening cover. Uh, what I see, really good stuff. This is a very huge transformer what gives you out 220 or 240 and this is a front section here I could put heavy duty wires for my welder what take 220 volts and on DC voltage side very big circulation fan I do see circulation fan is connected to a circuit board or operational board if it's a high temperature or big load fan start turning. This is wires from a negative and a very short and what I basically see it looks for me that we have two synchronized inventors. One inventor makes 110 and another inventor adds on another side 110 too. The top aluminum cover I have a power meter, amp meter, and whatever it does else. Over here, this control board, what control outgoing power to 220 line, it sits just on one little screw. And if I drive my truck and that get constant vibration, that screw will get loose. So what I will do, I will put that on glue and on extra silicon. Okay, on that loose board, I add a little bit silicon around. But what else I don't like? This inductive sensor completely loose on a wire what's go out of a transformer. And now you see I add a lot of a silicon to inductive coil what sends a current in a wire going out of this big transformer. Before it slide on this wire, but now I'm very sure when silicon get solid, it will stay here without any movement.